Hello, friends. Welcome to the Mivan Technologies. In this video, I am here to explain how to connect, how to taste, and how to program Mivan Technologies 3 phase digital direct online motor starter. This is Mivan Technologies heavy duty dole direct online motor starter. This device provide high voltage and low voltage protection. Electronic overload and dry run protection. It is inbuilt of SPT and auto switch. The link has been provided to buy our products and product parts. You are welcome to purchase them directly from our website. In all over the world, we have garnered the trust of 1 million plus customers. Additionally, our products are exported to more than 22 countries on a regular basis. First, I will explain how to connect. We will give the 415 volt supply at input terminal and connect 3 wire of R, Y and B at input terminal. Connect 3 wire of motor at output terminal M1, M2 and M3. Now the connection has been done. Now I'll show you how to test the device. Here are Y and B phase indication provided. Here motor on indication provided. This upper display shows input voltage and this lower display shows the current taken by motor on. This is auto and manual switch. This is start and stop button to start and stop the starter in manual mode. It also use as up and down key while programming. This one is set key for programming. To test the starter first put the starter in manual mode. Start the starter by on off switch. If it shows SPP error on display then you need to interchange R and Y phase from input. Press the start button, motor should start. Press the stop button, motor should stop. If it works then unit is working fine. Here is two mode. One is auto mode and one is a manual mode. In auto mode motor will automatically start after on delay time. And if user have program a cyclic timer then the cycle timing function will work in auto mode. In manual mode motor will start and stop by start and stop button of this starter. Now I'll show you how to program the device. First I will show you how to enable and disable the functions. First press the set button. You can see the overload value. Again press the set button. My menu comes. Now press the set button for 5 seconds. It will ask for the password. Please enter the password 30. Now press the set button. From here you can see auto on delay timer option. By pressing up and down key user can enable and disable the auto timing function. When you enable this function, you can see auto on delay time setting option in main menu. Now press the set button and come to the main menu. 
Press the set button in main menu. Now you can see overload option press the set button again and you can find auto timer option. This timer also known as auto switch on delay timer. Press the set button. Now I'll show you how to enable cyclic timer. To enable the cyclic timer press the set button for 5 seconds. Enter the password 30. Press the set button again. Press the set button. You can find a mode option. In this mode option, select a cycle mode to enable cyclic timer. Press the set button and come to the main menu. Now in main menu, press the set button. You can find overload, press the set button. Here you can see cyclic on time option. Press the set button you can see cyclic off time settings. Press the set button, come to the main menu. Now I'll show you how to enable dry run protection. Now press the set button for 5 seconds. It will ask for the password, please enter password 70. Press the set button. Here you can see a dry option. You can enable and disable by up and down key. If you have enabled the dry function from here, then you can see a dry current setting option in main menu. Press the set button, press the set button it comes to the main menu. Now press the set button. You can see overload, press the set button. Here you can see a dry option. Press the set button. You can see a dry run reset time in main menu. Press the set button you can find cyclic on and off timer press the set button you can see on time delay timer and comes to the main menu. Now press the set button for 5 seconds. Enter password 90. Press the set button. Here you can enable and disable the S.P.P protection. By up and down key. Press the set button. Here you can enable and disable the phase sequence protection. Press the set button. Here you can enable and disable the high voltage protection. Enable the high voltage protection. It will ask for high voltage limit. Here you can adjust the high voltage limit. Press the set button. Here you can enable and disable the low voltage protection. By pressing up and down key you can enable the low voltage protection. It will ask for low voltage limit. Here you can adjust the low voltage protection limit. Press the set button and comes to the main menu. Now I am going to explain all the main menu functions. First press the set button. The overload current comes, here you can adjust the overload as per the motor connected. Generally the overload value will be 25% higher from the load value. Press the set button. The dry current shows here. You can set the dry run current as per the motor load. Generally the dry run current value will be 25% lower from the load value. If you don't want this function, then you can set as a zero or you can disable from password 70. Press the set button. You can set dry run reset time. Once the motor trips in dry run. Then after how much time it should start again to check whether it is dry or not. That time is known as a dry run reset time. You can adjust in minutes. Press the set button. Cycling timing function will come. Set cyclic on time then press the set button and you can set the cyclic off timer. 
Cyclic on and off time will be in minute. Press the set button auto timer comes. This timer is on delay timer and it is in seconds. Motor will start after this on delay timer in auto mode. Programming has been done. If you have set any wrong parameters, then you don't need to be worried. Press the red button for 5 seconds and do the factory reset. All value will be set as factory default. Thank you for watching the video.